Hello everyone and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so, so happy to be doing this video. I am currently gardening and growing food in a small backyard, but I know there is so many people online who don't even have that. They may just have a patio. I was laying in my bed and I was truly thinking about how could I use this container? I've had this container for about three years. I purchased it from Lowe's and I think it was about 10 to $15 at the time, but it has lasted through all four seasons for three years. So I have definitely gotten my money's worth, but I have also really just been thinking about how can I use what I have in the garden and make the most of what I have. So I had this and I had a vision to do this planter every year. I do a spring floral arrangement. And I said, why just stick to doing a floral arrangement? You can do a vegetable arrangement. And I said, oh my goodness, I have a trellis and I could put that inside of the planter and make a vegetable arrangement. And that is going to free up a lot of space. And also, oh my goodness, it's perfect for a patio gardener or someone who don't have that much space. I'm like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I really wanted to come do this video and get this out for anyone that really don't have that much space, man. So as I mentioned, I had this um, trellis already. It was cute. It's black. It has a little bird right here. But even if you don't have this and you have a tomato cage, you could put the tomato cage in the center of your bed. Okay. Center of that flower pot, whatever flower pot you have. This flower pot is about, you're going to have, let me use the other side. It's about 14 inches in length, but you're going to have about 12 inches of growing space. And then across width wise, it's about 17 inches width wise. So this is a nice size planter. Okay. And it doesn't take up much space, but let me tell you what I'm going to be growing in this here. I just felt like, oh my goodness, it just came together in my mind because I, I just really want to use what I have. So I just been, I got to move this up because it's hurting to be <laughs> sitting the way I was sitting. I need to find another way to sit. Okay, this is much more comfortable. But the first thing that I was thinking of, I really wanted to grow these royal snow peas. I purchased these snow peas from Backyard Garden Seeds. So I'm like, I really want to grow these this season. So how can I use them? And I said, oh, I could just grow them up a planter. These seeds these peas only get to be about three feet. They only need about three feet of trellis space. And that was perfect. How many feet is this trellis? Right under three feet, about 34. So I'm going to plant these along the base of the trellis here. That way they can grow up the trellis. So I'm gonna do four on each side because I believe the spacing for these is about what? Mm, two I believe the package said two. well I went online to read it. I believe it said two inches spaced across so I'll just do four here and oh my goodness the color variation I'm gonna put a clip of how they look on the screen it is a very very deep purple color so I cannot wait for these to grow oh, it is a deep purple so keep that in mind. I'm going to tell y'all the next color plant that I'm going to use. Okay, so we got those planted in about an inch. So that's going to grow up the trellis. So we're definitely going to have some royal snow peas. Okay, along with that, we have beans. <laughs> this is the dragon tongue beans. And the bean, the pod itself is like this purple and green color. So we're staying in the theme of green. So I said, that's going to be really, really pretty. So I was thinking you need to space out the beans about, I believe it said 12, six to 12 inches. So I'm going to put the beans at the corner of each of the planter. So I'm going to put maybe two 
I'm gonna put them at the corner here. Well, I'll plant three just to be on the safe side. So I planted three there and I am just burying these about an inch to two inches in the soil. I'm so happy for this planter. Y'all just don't understand. <laughs> I'm just so happy and I really, really hope this inspires someone else to do the same just because you don't have the space you need at the moment doesn't mean that you can't grow. Sometimes we just have to use our mind. And that's why I love coming on YouTube because you're able to get so much inspiration. When you're doing these videos, guys, don't worry about copying other people because we're all growing food. So just try to come online and be inspired. You know, that's, that's what I have to say. So I hope this inspires someone else to go out and create a planter. I would love to see what type of planter, vegetable planter other people can make because I would love to see what, are you, what, what ideas do you guys have? Maybe I can use some of those ideas, but I really hope this inspires someone to grow a planter. You know, I know a lot of us have bought those tomato cages and found out that they really are not good at supporting tomatoes. So we could probably use those to grow a lot of our vegetables upward. We have pots already laying around, grow bags. So definitely try using that. Now we're gonna grow, the next thing we're gonna grow is this radish. This is the Japanese wasabi radish that we're going to also grow in this planter. So as I was picking everything, I wanted to be mindful of the maturity date for everything. So the maturity date on all of these are about 60 days, plus the germination time period, which is between like seven to um, 10 days for all of these items. So I said, oh my goodness, they're all gonna mature around the same time. So I cannot wait to be able to give you a glimpse of it growing throughout the garden season. So definitely hit that subscribe button so that you guys can stay tuned for how this turns out. But let me see, how far apart should I space these? It says two inches apart. So I'm just gonna put two every two inches okay drop too many there and i'm just planting them there drop those here get some more so i'm putting two in the hole like every two inches and what i'll do as they begin to grow i'll just come in and thin these the the wind is it is so windy today and I'm trying to go ahead and get this done because of course it's gonna be raining tomorrow. So I wanna come out here and do a little bit of my chores. Man, this was very quick, very quick. So this is going to be a beautiful purple and green planter. I'm just really grateful that I was able to think of this um, planter. I just feel like it's gonna help so many people out. So let's go ahead and get it watered. Get it watered. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm really happy about this planter. And let me make sure I water the corners pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, that is all. I told you this was gonna be a quick video. Guys, make your vegetable planters. I would love to see them. If you do decide to make a vegetable planter, try to tag me in the video. That way I'll know that you created it so I can go and see it. And hopefully I might try to copy and make a planter that you guys are planting. I'm gonna try to think of more things to plant. But if you do wanna plant some peas, it's the perfect time. It's early spring before it get a little too hot. I do know the Royal Snow Pea is a good pea. I believe the Sugar Ann is a short climber, only needs about two feet. Uh, the Sugar Ann, the Green Arrow needs about two feet. So, but definitely just go look at some peas, look in the description and see how long the vine is gonna be on them. But just off the top of my head, I believe the Green Arrow, is a two need you need about two feet sugar and of course the royal snow pea but that's all that's it <laughs> that is all i have for you guys on today thank you so much for tuning in have a lovely day bye